let's go to example four. And we're going to do our swoosh and bring it around town. We're going to do all that great stuff with this because we need to solve it out. So whenever you have a problem that deals with this stuff, you need to find the value in it. It doesn't give you what is equal to. You always set it equal to y. So let's go to set this equal to y. So we say a is log 100, oh sorry, log, yeah, 100 base 10 equals y. And again, let's move it around. Let's switch it around. Let's switch it all around and everything. We do this. And let's do our swoosh. Bring it around town. Bring it around town. Bring it around town. So let's go ahead and change it up. So we get 10 to the y power equals 100. And we should be able to figure that out. Like just by looking at it, we can tell what y is equal to. We don't have to change it over to base, do 10 to some power equals 10 y, whatever. You just should be able to tell. So hopefully everybody sees that if you just say 2 for y, that's your answer. And bam, you're done. That was simple and easy. Bitty bitty bum ba. My pat ain't Alright, so moving on to the next bar here. Again, we're going to set it equal to y. We're going to switch, switch it around. So y is up front. And again, if you can do this without switching around, do it. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Again, we're going to swoosh it, speed that up, and bring it around 10. Bring it around 10. So 9 to the y power equals 0. So what we have to think about is, what's going to make this 0? So if you say 0, y equals 0, put 0 in there. Do 9 to the 0 power and see what it equals equals zero? No, it's not equal zero there. No. Okay, so let, let's think back really quickly. This is an exponential function. This is exponential right here. Whenever we graph the exponential function, we did an asymptote on the y-axis, and we said it never touches that line. Right, right, yeah. So that line was x equals zero, right? So, does it ever touch zero? Does it ever equal zero, in other words? No. And this is to draw that really quickly. Just to draw up uh, um, exponential function. Whenever we did all this great stuff on the last lesson, we graphed that like this. And we got our asymptote. Let's say that the asymptote is going to count it wrong or take points off. So that's the asymptote there, the black line, and it does not touch it. And that's where x equals zero. So it never will touch zero. So this one has no solution. Because it will never touch zero. Alright. So it will never touch zero, so no solution line. Okay. Keep going. And again, if that makes sense to you, call me over. Stop the video and call me over. Okay. Again, here we're going to set this equal to y. We're going to solve it out. Swoosh it, uh, move it around first, and then swoosh it. Swoosh it around. Take it around. Take it around. They have 1,000, sorry, 10,000, my fault. So y power equals 1. That one should be simple and easy. It should be both like going off in your head really quickly, really fast right now. Because you know anything to the zero power equals one, right? So that means y equals zero. Zero. Bitty bitty bum ba. We get y equals zero then. Yay. Okay. Right. Alright, and then the last one. Just again, set equal to y. Y equals log 100, log 100 base 100, 
And again, we're going to do our swoosh. Let's start with 100, bring it around down. We're going to do our swoosh. So 100 to the Y equals 100. And again here, we said if the base numbers are the exact same, your exponents are going to equal to each other. So what is understood to be right here? What's understood to be there? Without actually having to write anything down or think about it or think hard about it. It's understood to be 1. 1. So what is it equal? What is y equal here? 1. <laughs> That's it. That's all that is. Set it equal to y and then do the swoosh and solve it out. That's it. Now, 